Welcome. Let's take a look at writing the equation of a plane. In the instance where we are given information about a point that should lie in the plane, in this case the point is 5, 8, negative 1, and we want the new plane to be parallel to the plane 2x minus 5y plus z equals 10. Now, as a quick reminder, um, the equation of a plane is a can be found a times the quantity x minus x naught plus b times the quantity y minus y naught plus c times the quantity z minus z naught equals zero. This is an equation um, where the point in the plane is x naught y naught z naught and the normal vector to the plane is a, b, and c. So in this particular case, we do know what our point should be. So we know that the point in the plane that we will use is the point 5, 8, negative 1. We don't yet know what our normal vector should be but we have sufficient information to find it. So what I want to do is think about what would it mean for two planes to be parallel. So let's say this is the existing plane. This is the plane 2x minus 5y plus z equals 0. Well, it has a normal vector. Let's say that's the normal vector. And if we look at this form of the plane we have, we have a times x. So the coefficient of the x term should be a. Then we have uh, b times y. So b times y, the coefficient of b should be this uh, second component or um, negative 5 to negative 5 and then in the equation we would have c times the variable z so the coefficient of z should be the third component or c within the um, normal vector of the plane so this will be 1 so the normal vector to the plane we already have is 2, negative 5, 1. Now we want to create a, uh, the equation of a new plane, and that plane has, is to be parallel to the existing. So if the two planes are parallel, then um, the normal vectors should be parallel. Right? Um, so this new plane should have a normal vector, and that normal vector had better point in the same direction as this original normal vector. Otherwise, the planes will not be parallel. So the simplest choice for a normal vector that points in the same direction as the existing plane. That's just as simple as using the normal vector for the existing plane. You could uh, multiply each component by any constant you wish, but it's not really necessary. So the normal vector we want to use for our plane is, uh, is 2, the negative is with the 5 and 1. And now that we have these two pieces of information, we can simply use the point normal form of the plane and write our equation of the plane. So uh, recall that the x component of the normal vector is a, the y component of the normal vector is b, and the z component of the normal vector is c. So we would have 2 times x minus the x-coordinate of the point minus 5, so plus b, 
times y minus the y coordinate of the point plus c, I'm going to go ahead and write the 1, times z minus the z coordinate of the point, and that should equal 0. So we've got 2x minus, or times the quantity x minus 5, minus 5 times the quantity y minus 8, plus z, or 1 times the quantity z plus 1. If you wish, you can go ahead and multiply that out and collect up like terms and so forth. But that's a perfectly good response to what is the equation of the plane. I hope you find this helpful.